Hi everyone, welcome to the Canvas Framework online course. Now the goal of this course is to really explain to you what the Canvas Framework is and how it can be utilized to build more robust and scalable web applications faster than ever before on Bubble. Now my name is Bragan and I'm a developer here at AirDev and I'll be your guide throughout this course. So let's jump into this first introductory video where I'll be going over the components that make up the Canvas Framework. I want to kick off this video by giving you a quick history as to how the Canvas framework was created. At AirDev, we've been building for our clients since 2015, delivering a variety of bubble projects for small one-man startups all the way up to large-scale corporations. What we realized over time is that there are a standard set of components or features which can be utilized in a variety of applications, and we combine this together to create the Canvas framework. By utilizing the Canvas framework, on all our builds, we're able to deliver more for our clients at a fraction of the time and the cost that it did so before. Let's get into exactly how this one works. So there are two parts of the Canvas framework that you really need to be familiar with. The first part is the Canvas base template, which is just the base bubble application that we build our application on top of. This Canvas base template comes with a set of standard components and features that you would utilize across a variety of applications. Two examples are an accounts portal or an admin portal, which no matter your use case, you'll likely need. The second part and the really powerful part of the Canvas framework is the Canvas by AirDev Chrome extension. And what this Chrome extension does is it links your Bubble application to a library of Bubble components, which you can search through, filter, and bring in really easily with one click into your application. An example is the messaging or chat widget. Just say your Bubble application requires the messaging feature. By clicking and adding this to our application, we bring in not only the front-end component of the messaging widget, but also the back-end workflows associated with it and the data structure required to set this up. By utilizing both parts of the Canvas framework, the base template, as well as the Chrome extension, we're able to build most of our application standard out of the box, and all we need to do is customize the unique parts. Let's jump into the editor and have a look at exactly what this looks like. I'm here in the bubble editor of a new bubble application created using the Canvas base template. I haven't made any changes to it and already on the index page here, you can see that visual content has been created. There's also pre-built workflows to support the functionality on this page. In addition, a number of pages, reusable elements and styles have been created and we'll go into more detail and explain these in later videos. What I wanna do now is to preview the page and view some of the functionality which is created out of the box. The first here is the admin portal, which is a command center to manage the settings and content for your application. As an admin user, you can easily update the branding of your application and the styling without having to jump into the bubble editor. You can also update the header and footer information and links, update the email templates and the content in the emails, and even view and manage the users on your platform and control their access. The second piece of functionality I wanna show you here is the account settings page that any user can access through this drop down in the top right here. Any user can update their profile and account information or even their payments and notifications if that's set up. In addition, all of the components are built responsively. What this means is that the layout and the content of the web page are easily adjusted based on the screen size of the device. So even if we're here on a tablet view or in a mobile view, this content still looks great and functions and behaves as expected. This template can be extended by adding components from the Canvas library via the Chrome extension. Let's see how this works. The extension overlays on the page and you can add pages, blocks, API calls as needed to suit your application use case and needs. To give you a clearer example of how this works in practice, just say I wanna create an app where users can log in and are directed to a dashboard with a list of com employees at their company. To do this, I would need to create a new dashboard page and then I wanna add a repeating group to display this information on the page. The extension makes it really easy. All I need to do here is go to the actions and click pages. 
I can view a variety of pages in the extension or click view full library to view it on a separate web page. I want to add a dashboard page. So I'll add the name of this dashboard page and I'll click create a new page. The extension then adds this onto my page for me. This page has now been created in my application. I can also see that a number of workflows associated to this page have been created. Next, I want to add in that repeating group. So I'll go to blocks here and I'll search for data table. I can view a number of data tables and I can add the one that I want in my application. Let me preview this page. You can see on the page here all the visual information and workflows which have been added. All I need to do now as a developer is to modify the content and build the workflows to display my specific data as needed for my application's use case. For example, I would display a list of employees at my company. What you can see now is how easy it was for me to add new content to my application and how much faster it helps me to build. I hope that these examples provide a stronger foundation of understanding of what the Canvas framework is. I want to finish off this video by highlighting two of the benefits that I personally have found from utilizing the Canvas framework as a developer. The first one is that it helps me to build faster. Because Canvas comes with so many components straight out of the box or to be able to be pulled in through that extension, it means that I can build a lot faster in an order of magnitude of five or even 10 times faster. On top of that, what I really enjoy about utilizing Canvas is that so many of the components are built standard out of the box, which means that a lot of the repetitive work of a bubble application has been removed for me. And I can really focus on those unique development challenges that I really enjoy and really engage me as a developer. Secondly, I find that Canvas allows me to build better. What I mean by this is that the Canvas framework really utilizes the knowledge and experience that we at AirDev have learned through our years of delivering for clients. And straight off the bat, you start to build in a way that is really robust and scalable and in line with some of Bubble's best development practices. On top of that, when I first started out as a developer, I found it incredibly useful to go through the Canvas framework and really understand how and why parts of it were built. And that was a really great learning experience for me to improve my skill set as a developer. Now, I hope that this video has given you a bit of a stronger overview as to what the Canvas framework really is. In our next video, we're going to be going over exactly how to set up Canvas for your next bubble build.